After two or three courses, you can see the glue running along every couple of feet. So before you start, when you're working the layout, you're gonna check everything for square. So if you were stacking on top of a slab and thought you could just take the form and put it to the edge of the slab and go, you will be sadly mistaken because you will have some things out of square. So that's where you're gonna go through and just like a, just like a framer is gonna do when they're doing their layout. They're gonna work on the ground, they're gonna pop their lines, and they're gonna make sure that everything is square. You're gonna have your forms along that chalk line and you're gonna go in and do some spot glue every couple of feet. Now, it's important that we only spot glue whenever you establish that to your chalk lines. It is a minimally expanding foam, but it will still expand and lift that form up. So let's say that the concrete worker was really good, got it dead flat, you come through and spot glue on one side, then it lifts and rolls it over. Well, guess what? You took a good concrete job and just made that wall start a little bit out of plumb. So we go through and we spot glue every couple of feet and we let that set up. I train the install crews do that right before lunch or right at the end of the day. So that glue has time to set and bond. And then when you come back from lunch, it's adhered and you can go in. As soon as that bonds and all the expansion is done, you can come through and glue it solid at that point in time. It's not gonna lift.